hello YouTube family welcome back to my another video on my YouTube channel uh, but this time I'm going to do something different so this is not going to be my traditional tutorial videos wherein I teach about the networking lessons and all so this time I thought I should do something different and different the way I have uh, I mean in this video I'll be talking about 12 um, unnecessary Windows programs and apps you should uninstall to make your PC a lot more faster. I, I am sure that you people don't know many uh, applications that, that's just sitting idle in your Windows laptop and um, I mean you should remove them to make your uh, Windows PC faster. Right. So I'll be talking about the same in this video. Do you no, out of all the softwares your computer, um, I mean, out of all the software on your computer, how many programs do you actually use regularly? Hmm? Okay, most people keep a fair amount of unnecessary software installed on their systems. While some of these apps are just outdated, others are Windows bloatwares, malicious softwares, and other junk you can remove from your computer. So we'll be talking about that in this video. Here are some common and unnecessary Windows 10 apps you should immediately remove. Now, how to check your installed programs in Windows 10? Now, that is quite simple. So, if you go to your settings in Windows 10, just type in settings here and you should see your apps. Click on those apps and these are the apps that are installed in your system. Now, if you are when uh, you are on Windows 8 or Windows 7, you can just click here and go to Control Panel like this, and it should open something like this, and then you can just click on the Install Program here, and you can see all the installed programs in your system now. Okay, so hope um, everything's clear until now. Now, the real thing that we are going to talk about. To remove a piece of software, just Click to highlight it and choose uninstall like this. Depending on the software, it might uninstall immediately or require you to advance through some dialog boxes, which is called a wizard. Okay, now let, let's look at what apps you should uninstall from Windows and remove any of the below, right, if they are on your system. So the first one on my list is the QuickTime. So let's see if it's in my system. And because I don't use any Apple devices, I don't feel it will be there. So QuickTime is basically an Apple's video player. While it's still a current program on Mac OS, the company hasn't supported the Windows version since 2016. Shortly after Apple announced the depreciation of QuickTime for Windows, Trend Micro announced that the software had a few critical vulnerabilities. Trend Micro is basically a, a, a company which looks into software, wonder, uh, I mean, uh, network vulnerabilities. So they have announced that the software had a few critical vulnerabilities which can be exploited. Since Apple will never patch these, it's not sa safe to have QuickTime installed in anymore in your system, right? Uh, removing QuickTime should shouldn't cause any disruptions as iTunes doesn't rely on it. If you need a replacement for QuickTime, use VLC. I hope you are real, uh, familiar with the VLC player, which will play pretty much anything. The next thing um, that is on my list is C Cleaner. Let's see it's in the system. No, it isn't. Now you, it's your turn to check if it's in your system. Now, C Cleaner was once a trusted Windows app for cleaning junk, but its reputation went downhill after it was acquired by Avast. Issues included forced updates without permission, data collection that enabled itself after restarting, and the software itself distributing malware unknowingly. You will find suitable cleaning tools elsewhere, including those built into Windows itself. I mean, follow the step-by-step uh, -step guide to uh, to cleaning your PC and you say you can say goodbye to C cleaner so if you find C cleaner in your system just remove it number three on my list is crappy PC cleaners so many people have installed or accidentally installed a PC cleaning app at some point this happens when you go and install some software from the web 
uh, I mean from the web right and you just keep on clicking next 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 without reading anything and you can see that it has many other additional softwares that you are giving permission to install so make sure you read all these steps before installing any apps so those are the things that you should be aware and you should remove those unnecessary adwares or freeware softwares the number four that's on my list is uTorrent and I'm sure you will find it in my laptop but I will not remove it okay uTorrent was once considered the gold standard of torrenting software however it has a host of issues over the years that makes it untrustworthy now so I'm thinking it twice should I uninstall it aside from having it scrapped into the interface you torrent also you don't also includes offers for other software tools which is annoying yes yes that is annoying its worst offense came in 2015 when the app was found to bundle in cryptocurrency mining software without letting users know this wasted your system resources in the background to make money for the company which allegedly gave some to charity that's a good thing there's no reason to bother with you torrent now we think qubit torrent mm, is the best torrent client and it's free of all the nonsense so let's go and remove the you torrent from my machine so there you go i don't want to take a survey let's uninstall it from my machine bye bye you torrent okay the number five in my list is adobe flash player and shockware player i don't know if i think so i should be having those is it no no thank god i used to have those a long time back but no so adobe flash player is no longer supported as of january 2021 Though it's blocked in all modern browsers now, you should still uninstall local copies of Flash. This will keep you safe from any future security issues since Adobe isn't updating it anymore. Adobe Shockware Player was discontinued in 2019. The company no longer offers it for download and you are extremely unlikely to find a website that needs it. You should thus remove both Shockware Player and Flash Player they are both relics of an era gone by and unnecessary today. Number six on the list is Java. Now, a lot of people say will say Java, come on, system needs it, no? Now let's see, do I have Java in my system? No, thank you. Java is another media runtime and includes two components, Java on the desktop and Java plugin for browser, which is notorious for having security problems. Though it was once fa fairly common, very few websites use it now today. Modern versions of Chrome and Firefox doesn't support it, which means that Java is less of a security problem that it once was unless you are an Android developer or use some specialized software that relies on Java you should uninstall it you will probably never notice a difference number seven on my list is Microsoft Silverlight I am quite sure that I don't have this on my laptop Silverlight no I don't have it Silverlight is a web framework similar to Adobe Flash that once enabled rich media content in your browser. Years ago, these plugins were necessary on a lot of websites, but now they are depreciated and no longer useful. Modern browsers don't even work with Silverlight. Chrome and Firefox haven't supported it for years and it was never compatible with Edge. Silverlight is only officially supported in Internet Explorer, which is only part of Windows 10 for compatible reasons. Anyway, you won't lose anything by installing Silverlight. Thank you. Number eight on my list is all toolbars and junk browser extensions. I have a lot of them. When you're wondering what to install from Windows 10, one of the obvious candidates is junk in your browser. While toolbar were once a far more prevalent problem, modern versions of Chrome and other browsers have thankfully fought back and mostly eradicated them. However, spammy extensions are still in the wild. Have a look in your programs list for toolbars like the Bing Bar, Google Toolbar, Ask Toolbar, Yahoo Toolbar, 
or Babylon toolbar. Let's go to my settings and apps and just have a search for toolbar. Do I have any? No, thank you. The ninth on my list is coupon printer for Windows. The purpose of coupon printer for Windows is to provide access to deals from coupons.com. However, since this software is typically found bundled in with other programs, chances are that you didn't want to install it in the first place. As I said, right, when you go on the web and install those uh, free um, softwares and then without reading, when you hit on next, 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 you end up installing these softwares. So just go and uninstall the coupon printer if you have. Let's search. I don't have anything with the coupon printer here. Number 10 is manufacturer bloatware. Unless you're running a premium device like the Surface Pro or installed Windows from scratch on a new desktop, chances are your computer came with lots of pre-installed junk from the manufacturer laptops for H from HP, Dell, Toshiba, Lenovo and more are prone to this issue. Consider these unnecessary programs you should get rid of and as none of them are required for Windows to function, some of the pre-installed branded programs like photo apps, gaming tools, or anything that duplicates Windows utilities are completely unnecessary. Others such as driver, BIOS update utilities like Lenovo system update are worth keeping around. Like I have, I think I have Dell, so you should see um, some updates if you see. So I, ha I had a Dell, um, updates something like that Dell touchpad no so you can keep the if you have um, a, a, a vendor specific um, update program or something like that that scans your system and keeps it up to date you can keep that and and, and uh, I mean other unnecessary tools you can just uh, remove it 11th on my list is Windows 10 bloatware so you have bloatware in Windows 10 as well Having to remove manufacturer bloatware is annoying enough, but Microsoft includes a fair bit of its own in Windows 10. This comes in the form of store apps. Thankfully, you can uninstall most of these unnecessary programs without much hassle. Some of the default modern apps like Xbox and Weather are useful to some people but not others. Others like Candy Crush Saga are junk you should remove. You are the 12th, right? That is WinRare. I have WinRare in my system and I can go and remove it. While having a file extraction and compression tool around is certainly useful, WinRare is not the best choice for the job. The app has become a bit of a punchline due to its old school shareware license. You can download a trial of WinRare for free, which asks you to pay after using it for some time. However, the app never actually locks you out even if you don't pay so you can use it indefinitely. Despite this, there's really no reason to use WinRare anyway. 7-Zip is a free and simple tool that covers most people, people's need. If you find 7-Zip too ugly, try another file extraction tool. But whatever you do, please don't pay for WinRare. So I'm going to uninstall this right away. And I will switch to 7-Zip. The above programs are, are unnecessary because they no longer serve any useful function. If you uninstall something and later find that you need it again, you can always reinstall it. Just be sure to install without bundle junk when you do. So read all these steps properly. It's always a good idea to do some cleaning on your system and remove old or junky Windows 10 programs. You might even go further and get rid, get rid of unnecessary Windows folders too. So that was it for my video and I will see you in my next video. Till then, stay connected and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share my videos as much as possible and do press the bell icon so that you get notification for the latest videos that I post on my YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.